Hello, um, I'd like you to welcome you to Connolly Systems. Uh, we've been running now since 1983, so we've been going quite a long time. We're a family orientated business, and I'd just like to introduce you to what we actually do. So, first of all, I'm going to show you our scanning system. This system we use for shops, we've got a pharmacy program, we've got a program to suit just about any shop. And also, these programs that we use can be used in connection with Booker, Premier, Spa, Nisa, Cost Cutter. Okay, and we do all those sorts of systems. So, first of all, let me introduce you to the equipment. Okay, we have a very, very good scanner here, which has got two motors in it, which makes it very fast. That's the crux of it. Thermal printer, tool drill, display screen. This is for you. Okay, now. As you can see from this screen, it's nice and clear. Now I'll explain the screen to you. First of all, everything in blue is zero rated departments. Everything in yellow are VAT rated departments. So if we link anything to any of those, it will adopt the VAT of that particular department. Then we've got the lotto, scratch cards, euro millions. That Depends whether you use them, you may not use the lotto. We'll clear this keyboard for you. We'll change it to suit you colour-wise. Okay? Then on the top here we've got lotto payouts, scratch payouts, accounts if you've got any, paid outs, returns, voids, the usual stuff that you would expect to see on any system. And over this side we have a normal keypad, the cash button, subtotal, 5, 10 and 20 pounds. Multiplication, and then the screen with all the products on. Now, what we've done, we've, we've pre-programmed this machine with 25,000 products. We've tried to keep it simple, okay? And this is the way we do it. I'll just grab some products from over here, and uh, I'll show you how it all works. First of all, we can put the machine in directly. It's on the counter, it's ready to go. Now, we'll just say who it is that's using it. Number three, staff, and my name comes up there, Paul. Okay, so the first time this comes to the till, we just simply scan it, that's a can of Brasso. I'll scan it, and it says, no selling price. I say, fair enough. Okay, how much is it? It's 139, and what is it? It's a household item, so we put household. The machine remembers, Brasso metal polish, £1.39. We've sold it, and we've programmed it at the same time. Scan the paracetamol, Again, this is the first time it's come to the till. It knows what it is, it doesn't know how much you sell it for. We're going to sell this for 59p, and that's going to be medical. It knows now. Paracetamol tab is 59p. Now, I'll move on to the beers. This is very, very important. We scan a beer. This is Stella, and it says no selling price. So we say, okay, yes, this Stella is £1.10. Per can. So we say 110 pence and we say it's beers and ciders. Now as soon as we do that, the machine then prompts us, this is very important from the trading standards, it prompts us to check the age of the person that we're selling that beer to. Now this is not for the bosses, it's for the staff, because they often forget to see who they're serving. So it says, if they were born before that particular date, then they're old enough to have it, because very often you'll get the the ID from them and you're not quite sure of working it back in your head. It also warns the staff that if they do sell this stuff to somebody who's not our age, then they can be fined heavily as well. So okay, this person is over 18, we know he's, he is, so we say yes, that's fine. Then we scan the next item, and it says yes, this is no selling price, fair enough, one pound, and again it's beers and ciders. And we subtotal. And there it is, we've sold all of those items we cash it on. I'll have to be careful, I usually put my coffee down there and it goes flying. So the first time we've scanned it, it we put the price in. Now the next time we scan it, watch this. Scan it, bang, in it goes. Yes, now we're going to say, this is again, it's checked the age. We're going to say, how old are you? And they say, I'm 18, and, but they've got no ID. So at the moment, you have to. Everybody in the country has to keep a refusals book, but very often we don't look after it, we don't fill it in. 
but in this case the machine will remember it for you. So okay, so we press no, I don't think they're 18. And then you've got all the different options of why you're refusing them. So I'm just going to say here, no proof of age, and I'll accept that, okay. And now I'm going to take the Stella back out, so I'll press avoid, and the Stella, and that's taking it back out again. And we'll cash it out. Oops. And that's what usually happens to my coffee. It is up. And off we go. So, we've done that, all those, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into change, show you how easy it is to change your price. So, we'll go into program. So, there's a button up here that says program. So, you just press it. And instead of having a key, like you have on a normal cash register, you key in a code. And you can put your own code in, whatever you wish. One, two, three, four, if you like. Now, all the items in blue are the ones we're going to use the most. Now, in this case, the top one is the one we use for changing our prices and putting new products in. So, we'll press edit the product. OK. It loads up the program. Now, we scan the paracetamol. Laser has gone up from 59 to 65. So, I scan it. And it says, paracetamol belongs to medical, it's vatable, and it's 59p. I'm going to change it to 65. 65 is the new price, and I'll save it. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to do this product, which I don't think is in the system. So I'll scan it, and you see it's not there. Now this is a new product. So all I have to do is type in the name, Sif Cream. Okay, and where does it belong to? It belongs to household. Okay. It's vatable. It knows it's vatable because you've linked it to household. And how much is it? We'll say it's 125. I've no idea how much it is. And we'll press the price. Now, within this screen, if you want, you can put the stock in. You can put how much you paid for it, um, what, what profit you're making on everything. It's all here, but you don't have to do that. We'll just keep it simple. We'll save that one. Now, we've saved it. It's done. Now, obviously, you then have changed the price in the machine, but you have to remember to change the price on the shelf. So when we go into exit, the machine will say to you, I'm sorry, but you've put some new prices in. What about the shelf edge label? So we press print. We want it on the receipt printer here. And I want the largest one, the 39 uh, centimeter. Now, press that. And I don't know whether you can see this, but there's the labels for your shelf edges, with the barcode, the name, the price. Nice and simple, and they just go on your shelves. That means the price on the shelf is the same as the price in the till. Now, we said they were printed okay, um, and we're gonna go back to selling it, okay? Now, before I go back to selling it, I'm gonna suggest there's something else we want to do. With Stella, we obviously, with most shops now, we do get a lot of offers. Obviously, Stella is an offer. It's one ten a can, but we're going to sell four cans for three ninety nine. So we just press multi buy. Now there's six hundred and fifty multi buys in this machine. Okay, and very quickly we press the multi buy button. We choose a box. They're all there. There's ninety nine on this section. Press box number one. Okay, and we turn around and we say to the machine, it's multi buy number one, and it's Stella. And all you have to do is scan it. Now it knows that multi buy number one is star. Now the quantity is four. You can put a start and end date if you've got the promotions from Londy, Spa, or whatever. We'll put the name in, Stella Offer. Oh, you can see how fast I am at typing. Description Stella Offer, and it's $3.99 is the price, so we'll put that in there. And we can put a four price, an eight price, a case price, whatever. So we've put those in, we'll save that one. And we'll print a label for it. So we'll press the label print, and now it pops the label. So there we go, and you can see this, it's stellar offer. Buy four for $3.99. Very simple. So that's how we program the machine. So you can see how simple it is. We'll exit out of that. We'll go back in and we'll start selling.
we sell four cans of soap, we say four times. Again, he's going to ask us, are we old enough? We say, yes, we are. And he says, Stella offer 440, discount 41p, total 399. We'll sell that and that. And you can see how fast this is. And there they all are. We have a lotto ticket, we'll have a Euro Millions. You just press the button. Subtotal, £10.54. They give you £20. Now, this is great for you and great for the staff. But what do the customers see? On most systems, they just have a little pod on the top. We've gone for one better here. Let me show you this. On here, this is your customer screen. And as you can see, any promotions that you've got going, you can put on there. You just type it in. It's that simple. Okay. But what happens when we start selling the stuff? If we scan this, we want the customer to see everything they're buying. Now, there's your brass metal polish, there's the price, it's in. It still keeps the advert screen going. Scan the next one. Scan these four times. Stella. And it even shows the offer. And this is very important because it asks the customer to check the age. The beauty about having it on this screen is you won't get this abusive sort of reaction from asking somebody if they're at, 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 at the right age. Because it's not you who's asking, it's the machine that's asking. So we say yes, they are over. Now, it's all there, simple as anything. I have a lotto, two lottos, and a euro millions. Thank you very much. Finished. And then it'll go back to the advertising screen right the way across. Okay. So that's nice and simple. So I think I've covered just about most I need to cover in... in this short time. I hope you've, you've, uh, you understand everything I've done. It is nice and simple. Now, if you're interested in this system, simply give us a ring and we'll talk to you about it. We'll come out to your shop, we'll show you the system, we'll explain it to you, we train you on it and everything. It's simple. We give you a seven day service. If you've got broadband in your shop, we can give you online support and that is included in the price. So, if you're interested in this system, Please get in touch with us. Thank you very much.